So this is one of my more recent uh, incarnations of my cell phone holder for my Dodge Ram 1500. The last time I made this, I had made some tweaks to make it better for my Pixel 2 XL. Uh, namely, I had put these little hooks in here. You can see it right here. And that would keep the phone from bouncing forward. And it did a pretty good job. Now, I did add these foam pads on the inside so it wouldn't rattle as much. But as I found, after this had been in the truck for a month, it had shrunk and I really didn't need this extra rubber stop here because uh, it was a little more smushed so to say the problem I was running into if you look at this design and this is from the original design the gap from here to here is smaller from here to here so the phone still could rock back and forth especially when accelerating or braking and it wasn't too big of a deal the other thing I learned or that happened was as this sat in the car for a month and heated up it started to heat forward so it would tilt more forward so that added some other challenges um, so I made some changes and I'm calling this next gen doesn't really mean much but uh, if you look you're gonna see a couple of things now it was a lot harder than it looked because I'm not a Fusion 360 expert what I had to do to uh, make the distance the same from here to here and here to here is I had to extrude this all back down and back and start out fresh so I pretty much started out fresh with this and uh, and I extruded it at an angle so there's less rocking with the phone so with the old model you'll see that there's this much play it's still not bad with this one there's very a lot less play I'll say the other thing I did was I added a lip here and that's for two reasons um, there were some moments when this was new and before it shrunk that the phone would pop out because the width was too great so this little lip keeps it from uh, popping out plus if you have a slightly smaller phone you could actually stick it on here so if you're not familiar with uh, the Fusion 360, no, I'm not that f familiar either, you could just put something smaller in here. Granted, it could still tip out. The other thing I did was I rounded everything. Now, that sounds like it's easy. Hey, just round it. It wasn't because the way the original design was made, um, it just, it, it wouldn't work. Pay no attention to this. This started to lift while it printed, and that was my fault because I didn't put an adhesion layer down. Um, but if you look, I also, this is smooth here now, where in the old design, it had this little nick there. That was just part of it, not a big deal. The other thing I did here was, uh, if you notice, the Dodge logo goes a couple of millimeters deep here and here. This is just an experiment going all the way through. Uh, I think it looks kind of cool, especially if you can get a colored light in the back. One other thing, as I was mentioning, as it starts to lean forward the heats, that became a problem. So rather than redesign this entire thing and tilt it back, because that's a lot of work, I simply added a five degree angle here. So this naturally, if we look here, will naturally want to sit back for it. And this will also help the phone from tipping. So you can see how it tilted back a little bit more. My thoughts going forward, and I'm calling this again next gen, is I'm not going to have this extrude all the way out. This is just so you can get an idea. What I'm going to do is, and it's going to be hard because the distance from here to here is the same, but here it's not. So I'm going to extrude this, and I only need a little material on the back, like a millimeter, so it's goes all the way, but I'm going to start printing with a clear PLA. Now clear isn't really clear kind of muddy but I'll start the few, first few layers of clear that way you can still get some light behind it the problem comes in here well I have to see if I can extrude at an angle or this will be uh, a millimeter from the back and then I'll have to extrude multiple sections here what I'd like to do is then inside the D here or all the letters I'm gonna have a channel that goes straight through the bottom I'm going to get rid of or I hope to get rid of these um, fillets right here and here and I'm going to uh, groove out a channel in here and I'm going to put this LED lighting underneath just whatever kind of LED lighting whether it's battery operated or 12 volt and that's going to shine the LED LED through here and I think I want to do red 
The problem will come with this area lighting that up, but I'll have to do a similar thing with the D and have the uh, lighting show up here. I kind of, like I said, like the way the Dodge goes through this. I'm just hoping there's going to be enough light in the vehicle around so you can really see that. I still like the idea of having these little foam pieces right here. These little buggers are actually expensive, believe it or not. And that'll just keep it from making rattling noises. So again, when I put this in, I can't put it in straight down in the truck because it kind of catches. I kind of push it in at an angle and it holds really well, especially going over bumps. The new version should do a little better, even without the foam pads. And as this shrinks, it'll get even better. So that's where it is today. So I'm going to put this in the truck today, and uh, I'll have an update at some point in time. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you know when I put out a new video, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.